Hi everyone! If you are a web designer or a web developer you must have designed many forms. In most cases forms require validation before submitting, right? And for that, mostly developers use JavaScript to validate user input data in form input fields. But in HTML5 there are many such functionalities that can help you to validate form using only HTML and with much simpler coding. In today's video we shall discuss about such most useful functionalities. To know all these keep watching the video till the end. I have already designed a simple sign-up form. First we shall talk about length checking of user input data in a field. For that, you need to mention two new attributes with the input field. Where length checking is necessary. Those are max length and min length. Once you mention max and min length, HTML will check if criteria of length is matching or not during form submit, and accordingly will show warning message. Next we shall cover min value and max value. These two are supported for number and date input type. This is as simple as mentioning min and max attributes. In input field, if you add these attributes with a date field, then user will only be able to choose dates between the min and max range. Like I added max date as 1st January 2020 and min date 1st December 2019. So dates between this range can be selected. Rest of the dates become not selectable. To demonstrate the min and max attributes use in number field, let me add one more field in the form. Year of passing. And as you can see, I have added the range for this particular input field from 2020 to 2025. So if I enter something out of range, I shall get warning message from HTML itself. Next validation we shall discuss is pretty common. That is checking if all required fields are provided by user. And for that all you have to do is just add one attribute, required with all mandatory fields. If user try to submit without filling up any of these fields, warning message will be shown. I think many of you must be familiar with input type number. This also helps us to ensure that user can enter numbers only, not any letter in some specific fields. Like in the develop form, I mentioned your passing and zip fields as number type. Many times we need to validate if user provides valid email ID. For that HTML5 has a separate input type. If you set input type equals to email, then HTML will validate if the user input data is valid email or not. Let me change the username field to email, and also the input type equals to email. Now if I try to submit with invalid email ID, form is showing me error. Next we shall discuss about one of the most important validation technique, that is pattern attribute. Using pattern attribute you can validate any user input data. Pattern is an attribute which you can add with any text or password input field. Pattern takes rejects as its value, and matches the user input value with the rejects pattern. By using this you can literally validate any kind of input. Here I am going to write a pattern to match the password with at least one number, and one uppercase and one lowercase character along with a character long. If user input data mismatches with provided rejects pattern, then warning will be shown. Now we are at one of the most interesting validation point. Many times I think you have noticed that, in a form you need to modify the UI, based on some user inputs. Like, let's say I am adding two more input element in the form. Let me fix the styling here. Okay, so now I want that user can submit the form only if user selects agree, and submit button will be disappeared if disagree radio button is selected. To perform this we only need to add very simple one line CSS. That's it. Now if user select disagree, the submit button will be hidden. And now the final one worth mentioning, like input type number and email. You can use input type equals to URL also, to validate if the user input value is a valid URL. So, that's it for now. Let me know in comment section if these all validation techniques seems to you helpful. If you enjoy this video please like this, 
and subscribe to Channel Code Board for many such interesting programming related topics. Thank you all for watching.